James Vonis, welcome to my tasting table. This gin is next. This is Isle of Harris. It's a sea kelp infused gin. And I'll give you my thoughts, impressions, point score on this outstanding gin, as well as what I'd buy it again in assessment. Stay tuned. Now, this is an outstanding bottle. I love this uh, very nice customized bottle that they've created. It gives that evocation of the sea. And uh, I think it's just a remarkable product itself. And uh, I like the wood top here. In fact, it gives the location of the Isle of Harris in the Outer Hebrides in Scotland. And it's also where I think of, you know, obviously where they're gonna be producing a lot of uh, Harris Tweed. And that's where this comes from as well. So it's the same location. And it's a absolutely sterling, beautiful, gorgeous um, product here. $59.99, I was kind of hesitant actually in some ways because at some point when I buy an expensive gym, I tend to like them, that's a good thing. But at one point I'm thinking, what if I don't like a more expensive gym? And uh, actually the note here is so far, it is an, a spectacular gin, very much enjoyable and one that's worth the price. Now they harvest the wild sea kelp and include this in the product itself. In a distillation method, they're taking out the head and the tails, the beginning and the end of the distillation process, because ultimately those are low quality and uh, they don't add to the gin itself. In fact, it would detract from it if they put it in. Now you get a complete distillation of the heart of this gin and that's another point that makes this a more expensive gin so when i think of gin sometimes the materials are outstanding they're hard to get they're rare they're expensive and hence a higher price point and so with this i found a very outstanding gin i do two things when i start off with a gin i you know start off with tasting this on its own so that i'm getting that full experience and appreciation for this gin i think for many gin makers that is old and new world i prefer old world most of the time is there's a sense of how to get to balance. When I think of gin, there's so many that are not in balance in my opinion. And this is one that's definitely perfectly in balance. And that's actually probably, it's not just a term, it's not just a word to overuse, although it is overused quite a bit. And I think this is one where this is that perfect example where this is a nicely balanced gin. So there's many gins that perhaps over index and maybe spice or pepper or other characterization, maybe even too much citrus. This is at point where it's really perfectly modulated. So when I think of the sea kelp, it does give some essence to it in terms of being a very nice, crisp, fresh, brisk gin. And it's not gonna be like when I think of say a cucumber gin, it's not that gin at all. You find uh, gin flights, and I find that more often in Europe than I do here in the US, uh, but it's fun to taste, it's fun to go through these gins and to really get that key characterization, those things that might actually be something that you look forward to. I find this gin to be absolutely exhilarating. So first, let's talk about the nose here. Now, what I like about the nose, it's fresh and brisk and very clean. Amalfi lemon, spice, white uh, rose petal notes, as well as crushed seashells. Next, the palate characterization. Now, the front palate is very appreciable in terms of an immediacy of immaculate freshness, but also a nice kick of character. And I like that characterization that's gonna come through in a very, very impressive way. So this is giving a characterization of both dried and fresh green and yellow citrus, uh, spice tones of pepper, coriander. Again, the compacted seashells come through very, very nicely in a nice, beautiful, lingering, appreciable, lingering finish. The palette is very impressive. It is very sophisticated, harmonious, and one that you're tasting something that's very, very different, very distinct, and also, I would say, even a luxuriant characterization. Now, this is a 99-point gin out of 100 points. I think this is outstanding. I'll put more information on the producer down below. Questions and comments. If you've tasted this, what do you think? It's going to be probably always in my library of gins that I do have available to serve at my own place and one where I think it's completely outstanding. So this is a gin to be tasting and trying and enjoying. So definitely look out for this gin if you see it in your marketplace and you're a gin fan, you might wanna maybe first try this out at a particular place that might be serving this at a bar or at a restaurant. And so this is one that's easy to give that Weeba score of yes. And uh, I think it's outstanding. So definitely seek it out. I'm very excited about this gin and I look forward to tasting more of this. Now in this quarter, I'm gonna be tasting sparkling wines. I'm gonna be tasting uh, special wines to be you know enjoying in this period of time where 
while the evening time it may be darker sooner but there's also a really nice way of celebrating life to enjoy that with your family and friends with a special wine and spirit thank you for watching today and i'll see you very soon sante